Hey guys, welcome back to Ayoyo Sword. Today's video is reacting to Ned Woko's official statement about his ex-wife Leila. So if this topic interests you, don't forget to like, share and comment. Thank you guys. So let's get into the video. Leila is the Moroccan lady, ex-wife of Ned Woko. They made news about their divorce um, a few weeks ago and since that time nobody has heard anything about Layla or even heard any story of her talking about her ex-husband Ned Moko. But recently Ned Moko released an official statement of five pages talking about what transpired in his marriage with his ex-wife that led to their divorce. That so, brings me to the topic I'm discussing today. So the question is going to be does it really warrant it? Do you have to bring your what transpired in your marriage or relationship for the public opinion to decide on or digest? To me, I feel divorce is a very painful process either to the parties involved or to the offspring of the parties involved and every other thing that intertwined. Um, in this case, it was a marriage of 10 years and um, within that 10 years, nobody had anything about the lady the moroccan lady it was all good so suddenly after the divorce we are beginning to hear stories how she was not a faithful wife how she was going to club using the money that was meant to shop for the children to party or do such to do surgery and all of that i'll be leaving the the statement in the clips of this video so you guys can as well follow through So my take is this mother of your children so whatever it is that transpired in your relationship should be kept to yourselves the public really we don't need those kind of information that's the way i look at it some things should still be kept private in as much as i know that divorce processes is a now public document because once a divorce is filed because the case is decided is no longer an ex exclusive document to the parties involved it becomes a public document so we all know it's no longer a private document but the thing is some things are still better kept in private especially divorce i don't like it when people fight dirty in divorce issues i don't such should be kept private such should be taken out of the public opinion you don't need the public opinion in matters like this because when you were contracting the marriages you never got the public approval before you contracted so why coming to like tell the public everything, everything that went on in your marriage we really don't need that but Ned Walker decided to publish such statements on social media I think is uncalled for and on the other side to Layla, I would say, go girl, you're doing amazing. Silence is golden. Silence, indeed, is not everything you come and react on. If, if I were your place, I would just keep quiet and don't bother myself. Move on with your beautiful life. Live your life. Live freely. The past, Ned Woko and everything that relates to Ned Woko is in the past. Just focus on yourself and then the care of your children. Let me know what you think in the comment section. In a matter of divorce, is it right for the parties involved to come back to the public and start sharing all the things that transpired in their relationship? So guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. And again, this will bring me to another th thing I want to discuss here. Especially an advice for women. For a young women trying to marry the so-called rich men or you know things like that, be wise enough to get yourself equipped. Getting yourself to equip, what I mean here is you can get a skill, you can go to school. Getting a skill, acquiring a skill, getting knowledge is very important for your growth, for your sanity, and for your well being. If you have a skill, make sure you build something, no matter how small, start building something for yourself. Because in case of tomorrow, if the relationship goes south, you will be able to see something to fall, fall back on. Any knowledge you acquired or any certificate you acquired will not be taken away from you. Trust me, it bears your name. They can't go to the university and say, I'm recalling the certificate because we are no longer together. No. 
you can be in that marriage get your degrees get your masters even up to phd level no one can take it away from you secondly if you can't go to school you can acquire skill if you learn to sew they can't come and take it away from you. if you learn to be the best hairdresser the best designer the best anything you can think of they can't take those things away from you that will be what you fall back on when the relationship is no longer working this will bring me to another case i want to talk about here that will be the precious and um, case the snow white precious the snow white and femis and um, case that is going on right now and uh, she talked about how she was thrown out of her her home with nothing nobody should find herself in such position nobody so like i said getting something on the side is very important acquiring a skill or going to school get all the degrees you can get i tell you it's not gonna be a waste if this road is closed another one will definitely open you see something you fall back on come to think of it ned Woko is an elder statesman if i will look at it that way he's no he's not a child he's not a young man he's not a young boy ned Woko is an elder his age are elders in the villages in the communities so where is that wisdom that comes with old age? A lot of people reacted in Ned Moko's um, publishing that statement. A lot of people said it was uncalled. A lot of people said all sorts of things, including uh, Jaruma, who made a video concerning that. Image. You things are better kept private, especially when it comes to divorce um, issues. I, I feel strongly they should be kept private, if not for the sake of the people involved but for the sake of their children for the sake of their children if the kids want to know what transpired you can sit your children down and talk to them about the, the whole process but not them growing up tomorrow to go to the internet and read all sorts of stories about their mother or all sorts of stories about their father it's not a healthy thing for a child and for a child's mental mental state is not good we all know our kids can read they can read. It's a matter, and most of these children we are talking about, they have access to internet. They have smartphone. So for the, for the father, they have smartphone. They could see their, the picture of their mother flash and they could click. And the next thing they would now start reading about their father calling their mother all sorts of names is uncalled for. For their mental health is 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 not right. So to me, I felt Ned did not do right at all did not do right so let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section thank you guys for watching my video today don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you guys